Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software. Um, spreadsheets are used to store information and data. Once we have that information and data in a spreadsheet, we can run powerful calculations using formulas. We can format data to make it easier to interpret. We can also make graphs and charts so that we can analyze patterns easier as well. So we're going to be using the spreadsheet to basically work out the BMI of a load of students in a class. Um, I've input some data already into it so that you know it's all preset and we don't have to type load of stuff in. Um, what I'm going to do quickly is just format or kind of resize the column width just so that we can see all of the headings clearly. Um, to do that, you're just going to click and drag the columns um, from the headers at the top of the sheet. There we go. So now we can see the headings a little bit better. And the last kind of little formatting thing I'm going to do in this video anyway, is just make the headings a bit bold so that we can clearly see the data and the headings. Okay. So to first make a formula, and you can see the formula to work out or the calculation to work out BMI is mass divided by height squared. Um, to start off your formula, you're going to write equals, and then you're going to select the cell with the data in it. So in this case, we're selecting um, cell B6, which contains the mass of student A. We're then using the slash sign to represent a divide. And then we're going to have another calculation within that, which works out height squared. Okay, and I'll do that in a, another set of brackets. So we do bracket um, height and then times, which is represented with the star, and then itself again. Okay, so we got mass times height squared, and that will work out the BMI of the student A, or which is the first student. Now, you do that again, but this time we're going to do it with student B. So if I go equals mass again and mass is this time stored in b7 and we want to divide it by height squared which is height times itself again so it'll be c7 times c7 then we want to press enter and then we got the height or the bmi of this student here okay now obviously it comes out as a bit of a odd number but what we are going to do is just copy and duplicate this formula and you would do that by clicking on the little square in um, the bottom right hand corner of the cell you have selected and then you're just going to drag it down and copy the formula over to um, the rest of the students. Um, obviously we can see that the numbers are kind of will have a lot of decimal places to them so what you can do is I'm going to highlight them and then you can reduce the decimal places by clicking on the option and the ribbon at the top that says decrease um, decimal places. So if I just decrease the decimal spaces a little bit, well, maybe you can't do it highlighting them all. So if you do it one by one, there we go. Let's make it one decimal place, make it one decimal place for this one as well. There we go, and then for this one, make it one decimal place. And then for the last one, we will make student F also have one decimal place um, for their BMI. There we go. So that is now a formula which is used to calculate the BMI of a student. Um, bod mass or bid mass, whichever one you have used in school, still applies here. So brackets get worked out first, um, and then obviously followed by the other operators as well. So let's say I now want to work out the total mass of um, all the students put together. What I'm going to use, or I could use, is the sum function. So if I go equals um, sum, sum is basically the formula or the auto formula, auto sum um, formula that you would use to add up all of the values in a column. So I'm going to start a bracket and I'm going to select a range of cells to add together. So in this case, I want to add together this whole column here. So sum of 
all of the values in B6 to B11. I'm going to close that one off and then press enter. And that has now worked out the total mass in kg for all of the students in um, that class. I can do the same for average as well. So if I go equals, this time we use the average function. Um, average and then select the whole column again. So again, that's B6 to B11. And then close that off, press enter. I've now got the average weight of all the students in that column there. Let's do the maximum height or the, you know, the tallest. In fact, apologies, that's not the right one. Let's do the heaviest student column for the height is the next one. So if we go equals, this time we're going to use the max function, and the max function is the function you want to use to work out the highest value in a range of data. So we want max, we're going to select that range again, so B6 to B11, close it off. There we go, we now have the highest value in that column displayed as well. Now we'll do the same thing to work out the lowest. So if we do equals again, but this time you're going to use the min function, which works out the minimum value in a range of data. Um, min, open bracket, select that range again. So we've got B6 to B11. Close the brackets, and this is now going to show us the minimum value in that column. Um, again, just to save us time of just typing out these formulas again, what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag from the little square in the bottom of the cell, and this will copy the formula across to all the other cells. And this will hopefully make it so that you can just quickly work out and calculate the total height, um, the average height, the highest or the tallest student, the smallest student, um, and also the same with the BMI. So we'll work out the total BMI, just all of the numbers added together. Uh, the average BMI, and I suppose the biggest BMI, or the BMI which is in the higher end of the scale, and the lowest BMI. And that is basically a quick introduction of how you're using some formulas. Um, in the next video, we will look specifically at how we can um, format this data to make it easier to read and make it more presentable to a user.